What's going on, visual learners? Today, we're going to be in the cardiology section of Memory Farm's Top 200 Drugs Made Easy coloring book, reviewing a drug called amiodarone. So I decided to switch it up and do some crayons today. So if you're ready, let's color and learn. Amiodarone belongs to a class of drugs known as antirhythmics. It works directly on the heart tissues to treat arrhythmias or abnormal changes in rate, rhythm, origin, or conduction of electrical activity in the heart. How cool is that? If you have ever seen the movie Rush Hour 3, amiodarone is like the Chris Tucker in the beginning scene regulating the movement of cars during heavy traffic. Similar to that, this medication is a regulator of electrical impulses in the heart to decrease abnormal conduction of electrical activity. Brand names for amiodarone have similar sounding endings such as pacerone, nexterone, and cordarone. These brand names hint at their mechanism of action. For example, pacerone helps heart rhythms keep pace. Cordarone has part of the generic name in it, darone, similar to amiodarone, and the prefix cor is short for coronary or heart. Moving on, our visual anchor for this class is ammo as it looks similar to amiodarone. You want to color the ammo in a gold or yellow color to remind you that it is used to treat arrhythmias or irregular conduction of electrical activity in the heart. Other indications for this drug include atrial fibrillation and arrhythmias with underlying heart failure. indications and precautions to keep in mind. There is a box warning for use only in life-threatening arrhythmias as this medication has potential toxicities when it is used long term, some of which include pulmonary and liver toxicity. Amiodarone is contraindicated in patients with underlying bradycardia. Because why? Because it also lowers the heart rate. It is contraindicated in severe sinus node dysfunction, bradycardia, heart blocks, cardiogenic shock, or hypersensitivity to iodine. So how does this medication work? Amiodarone is a class 3 antiarrhythmic. Think of the M in amiodarone as a sideways 3 to help you remember this fact. It works by blocking potassium channels as you can see here with this visual of an ammo blocking this potassium channel. Take a minute to look at this and visualize this in your head. By blocking potassium channel, this leads to a decreased sensitivity of the heart tissues to erratic nerve impulses and prolongs action potential duration and refractory period, allowing the heart more time to rest in between each electrical conduction. As I alluded to before, though this medication works well, there are a lot of side effects to keep in mind, as you can see here with this visual of this ammo causing friendly fire. You can remember the side effects using the mnemonic amiodarone. A stands for abnormal thyroid functions. Amiodarone can cause hypo or hyperthyroidism. And a great way to remember this is that the word amiodarone has part of the word iodine in it, an element needed for the production of thyroid hormone. M stands for muscle weakness. I stands for interstitial lung disease. This is the pulmonary toxicity I was referring to before in contraindications and precautions. O stands for optic neuropathy, which is rare, but patients who already have pre-existing visual impairment should get an eye exam prior to starting this medication. D stands for discoloration of the skin, that's like a bluish gray color. A stands for ataxia or tremors. R stands for a reduction in heart rate or bradycardia as well as blood pressure. O again stands for ocular corneal deposits, which are reversible within 3 to 20 months after stopping amiodarone. N is for nausea, vomiting, or constipation. And E is for enzyme fluctuations of the liver. Alright guys, some clinical pearls and counseling points to keep in mind. If your patient is complaining of an upset stomach, they can take amiodarone in divided doses 2-3 to three times a day to help with symptoms. They also want to avoid grapefruit juice as it can increase the drug's concentration and increase risk of side effects. Counsel your patients to wear sunscreen and avoid prolonged sun exposure as this drug can cause photosensitivity. You want to report any signs and symptoms relating to any of the toxicities mentioned above, such as chest pain, difficulty breathing, abnormal heart rate, changes in skin color, or unusual symptoms. 
Fun fact, amiodarone has a very long half-life, about 40 to 55 days. This means it can stay in the body for months, so side effects may remain even after the drug is stopped. Alright guys, that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, click that subscribe button for more. Let me know if you have questions in the comments and I will be happy to answer them. If you're interested in getting more information from our Top 200 Drugs Made Easy coloring book, I'll leave a link to the product below in the description and I will see you in the next video.